Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm answering now question number two from the Statistics S1 January 2023 um, International A Level at Excel exam. And this question here is about probability. We're told about two bags, X and Y, each contain green marbles and blue marbles only. The only type of marbles in there, green and blue. Bag X contains five green marbles and four blue marbles. And bag Y contains six green marbles and five blue marbles. So what's happened in this uh, situation is a marble is selected at random from bad bag X and placed in bag Y. A second marble is selected at random from bag X and placed in bag Y. So that's the second thing that happens. A third marble is then selected this time from bag Y. So the, the marble that's taken out from bag X is not put back into bag X again, but it's put into bag Y. And then another marble is taken out from bag X, and again, it's not put back into bag X, it's put into bag Y. And then finally, a third marble is selected from bag Y. So there's three events happening. So it says, use this information to complete the tree diagram showed, shown on page 7. So we have this tree diagram here, which they've already drawn for us, and we've got to fill in the blanks. So they've given us two answers here. So what we can do is we can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what they've given us to try to figure out if we're thinking in the right way. That's how you should always deal with these type of questions. In case you're thinking things in the wrong way, it will become very clear that you're thinking in the wrong way um, if you don't get the same thing as they get. So let's think about, um, imagine the first ball that's pulled out or the first marble that's pulled out is a blue marble. Now, from bag X, there's five green and four blue. So the probability of picking a blue is four out of nine, because in total there's nine marbles at the beginning, right? So four out of nine. Now, that marble is taken and placed into bag, bag Y. So now bag Y contains six green and six blue at the moment, but we're picking now from the blue bag again, uh, from, the, from the, the bag X again, which has one less blue marble and one less marble altogether. So that should say here, 3 out of 8. And the green marbles in it will still be the same number, which is um, um, bag X. There's 5 green marbles still in there, so it's 5 out of um, 8, right? So, yeah, that's right. So that's 5 out of 8 because... We're only dealing with bag X right now, so when you think about this bag, you've taken out a blue marble, blue marble, okay, so there's eight marbles left, and three of them are blue, so three over eight, and still five of them are green, so five over eight. Okay, now, let's think about now um, the next situation here. So, both those blue marbles were placed into this bag Y. So, in this situation that we have here, bag Y now contains seven blue marbles because both of the blue marbles from this pick and that pick were placed into this bag so there should be 13 marbles altogether which that's correct 13 the denominator is 13 six plus seven and six of them are green and seven of them are, are blue so yeah it works out so uh, we're thinking in the right way so we can be sure now that we're thinking in the right way so i've completed that part there why because i wanted to just make sure that you know, the, my train of thought was giving me the right answer for this. So now we can continue. Let me go, let me, let me um, carry on with the same thing uh, that we have. Suppose we picked a blue and then we picked a green. We picked a blue and then a green. Okay, so that means from bag X, you picked a blue. Okay, so still four over nine for the first pick. But for the second pick, all right, you want to find the probability of picking a green. So as we said, it's five over eight. Now, the blue and the green marbles were placed into bag Y. So now in this situation, this is different. Now this is going to contain seven green marbles and it's going to contain six blue marbles because one of each will put into these, this third into the bag Y. So there's still the denominator of 13, but the probability of picking a green again at the end will be seven out of 13. And for blue, it will be six out of 13. Okay, so that, that works out fine. All right because they're both increased by one. Okay, so now let's look at the situation of picking a green first. So let me just get rid of these. Okay, so now let's go to picking a green, then a green, then a green. So picking a green is five over nine. Then picking a green again is four over eight. 
Then picking a green again, well, both those greens were placed into bag, bag Y. So both those greens, now there's, there's going to be eight greens and five blues. So picking a green again is going to be, again, the denominator is going to be 13. Okay, but you're going to have eight over 13. And picking a blue, that will be five over 13. And eight plus five is 13, so it works out fine. Now, let's look at the situation here where we pick a green and then a blue. So the situation here changes. Okay, you've picked a green, and that green was put into this bag, so there's seven greens, and then you picked a blue, and that blue was put into this bag, so now there is six blues in this bag. Okay, so now, probability of now picking a green is going to be seven out of 13, and the probability of picking a, um, a green, a, a green, a, sorry, a blue is going to be six over 13. Okay, so we have now filled in all of the parts of this tree diagram. Okay, so there's the answer to question two, part A. We've filled in all these parts of this tree diagram. So now we're going to use this tree diagram to answer a particular question. So I'm going to go to the next page. And I've taken like a, a screenshot of our answers there. Okay. Um, so it says, for part B, it says, find the probability that the two marbles selected from bag X are of different colors. So now we're dealing with bag X only. Okay, this is only for bag X, which is the two picks. So I've, I've got rid of the third pick. So we want to find the probability that the ones picked from bag X are of different colors. Let me just make this a bit bigger for now when we're looking at it. So different colors means basically um, green and blue or blue and green. So it's the combination of these two. So basically, it's going to be the probability of getting a green and then a blue, plus the probability of getting a blue and then a green. Okay, so it's going to be basically 5 over 9 times 4 over 8. 4 over 8, plus 4 over 9 times 5 over 8. 4 over 9 times 5 over 8. Okay, as you can see, they both give us the same answer as 20 over 72. That's going to be... Um, 20 over 72 plus 20 over 72, that's 40 over 72, okay, which is going to be 40 over 72. Simplest form is 5 over 9. 5 over 9, okay? So that's, um, we're only concerned about, okay, the marble selected from bag X. Okay, so there's the answer. To that part of the question, I'll make this a bit smaller now, so we don't need just you know we didn't just need to have a quick look at that. So there's the answer to part B. Okay, now we're going to go to part C. It says find the probability that all three marbles selected are the same color. So now we got to think about all three of them being the same color. So if we think about all of three of them being the same color, there's two options. There's either green, green, green of them being green or blue 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 okay so we've got to find the probability of green 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 plus the probability of blue 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 okay so green 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 is five over nine times four over eight times um eight over thirteen so five over nine times four over eight times um, 8 over 13 plus and the probability of all blue is going to be 4 over 9 times 3 over 8 times and this is going to be 7 over 13 so these won't actually give you the same same thing here because that's 5 4 and 8 that's 4 3 and 7 so they'll, they'll give you separate fractions which we're going to add together so I can put this all in my calculator and give you the answer one time so that's going to be um, 5 over 9 multiplied by, oops, multiplied by 4 over 8 multiplied by 8 over 13. That's added to 4 over 9. Multiplied by 3 over 8, multiplied by 7 over 13. 
That gives me 61 over 234, 61 over 234. So that's a probability that all three marbles selected are the same color, either all green or all blue. Okay, so that, that answers that part of the question. Okay, so there's the answer to that one. Now, part D. It says, given that all three marbles selected are the same color, find the probability that they are green. Okay, so basically find the probability of selecting a green marble uh, given that they're all the same color. Okay, so that's basically the probability of um, picking a green, okay, which would be, so we're looking at only, basically what we're looking at here is at the intersection between these two divided by the sample space. So basically, we're only looking at, um, yeah, we're only looking at the sample space that they're all the same color. So our sample space is basically this and this. You can think about it like that. This is our sample space. All green or all blue. Okay, so this is our sample space. Okay, so this is our denominator. Okay. So we're going to find our denominator is going to be 61 divided by 234. So 234, yeah. Our numerator is a problem that they are there. Probably that you're going to have um, that, are, that they are all green. So that's basically just this, the probability of all being green, which is that part here, which is going to be 5 over 9 times 4 over 8 times 8 over 13. That's the probability of all of them being green. So that's going to be 5 over 9 times uh, 4 over 8 times 8 over 13. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So... Basically, our sample space is that they're all the same. So it's basically our sample space is just these two. And we're going to find the probability that they're all green. Uh, and we're, we're limiting the sample space to just these two parts where they're all the same color. Right? So it's not just a probability of all being green. It's a probability of all being green given that they're all the same color. So that, those are our two sample spaces that have to combine together, which we already did in part C. So now we're going to just basically divide these two fractions together. Okay? And that will be our answer. Simple as that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take. I'm going to delete all of this stuff here. To there. Eight over thirteen. Okay, and that all of that has to be divided by our last answer. Just put this in a bracket just to make it clear that is going to be divided by the last answer which was 61 over 234 and that gives us an answer which is 40 over 61 so there's the answer to that part of the question okay so it's basically the probability of all being green which is this outcome divided by our sample space which is that they're the same color which is those two added together which we already found so there we have our answer, and that concludes this question, I think. Yep, that's the last part of this question, question number two, from the January 2023 International A-Level Statistics S1 exam. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from probability of S1 in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link, and the video that will show up over here is going to be uh, the video that tells you how to use my channel to find, um, you know, playlists that might be useful for you in your revision. So um, thank you for watching and see you soon.